Your class used to be defined by how much you earned and what job you did. But this new research defines class not just in terms of money, but in terms of your social and cultural capital as well. In the survey, people were asked how many friends they had and what sort of people those friends were. Were they chief executives or cleaners, teachers or postal workers? That was to assess their social capital. As for cultural capital, people were asked if they used social media like Facebook, if they went to the gym or played sport, and what kind of music they like listening to. Or perhaps they're the kind of people, wealthy, well-connected, who spend their leisure time eating out in places like this, or going to museums and the theatre. People themselves don't think straightforwardly these days in terms of middle and working class. Um, they're looking, I think, for different kinds of labels, different kinds of understandings. And so it will be very interesting to see how these sorts of results play with people themselves and whether they think that they can um, feel more affiliation to these, this, this new way of thinking about class rather than the old way. The new study has identified seven classes. At the top, there's a small, very wealthy elite. At the other extreme, there's a larger group, dubbed the precariat, with very little money or social life or cultural life. In the middle, the old-fashioned working class has shrunk. They're mostly found in the old industrial areas of Britain. Then there's a new class, emergent service workers. Vicky's one. She's a newly qualified solicitor with student loans to pay off. People like her have little money, but lots of friends, a busy social life and the highest cultural capital of any class. I've got quite a wide range of friends, so there's a lot to get around. Um, I like, I'm very into music, my boyfriend and I, so we go to gigs if we can. You can work out your own social class using a test on the BBC website. Do you know teachers? Oh, yes, hundreds. Yeah. Uh, do you know any lorry drivers socially? No. Do you listen to classical music? No, I want to say so. Do you do any arts and crafts? Yeah. Do you use Facebook or Twitter? No. Do you socialise at home? You invite people around? Yes. Yeah. Do you go to museums and galleries? Yes, we're on our way now. You belong to a class, a newly defined class, called Emergent Service Worker. You belong to a class which is described as the established middle class. That oh, may not be. Is that a good thing or bad? It just it is. is. <laughs> the old 1950s stereotypes of class haven't applied for years. Instead, it seems we've marched into a new, more sophisticated world where class divisions are much more complex. Nick Hyam, BBC News.